Welcome to a new video and today I'm going to discuss the 5th Waffen SS Division which is called the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking. The 5th SS Panzer Division Viking was one of the elite Panzer Divisions of the 38 Waffen SS Divisions. It was recruited from foraging volunteers in Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia and the Netherlands and Belgium under command of German officers. During the course of World War II, the division progressed from a motorized infantry formation to Panzer Division and served on the Eastern Front during World War II. It surrendered in May 1945 to the advancing American forces in Austria. Due to the influx of foraging volunteers, particularly from Denmark, Norway, Sweden, the Netherlands and Belgium, a decision was made to form a volunteer division of the Waffen-SS under the command of German officers. The division was formed around three motorized infantry regiments, Germania, formed mostly from ethnic Germans, Westland, consisting of mainly Dutch and Flemish volunteers, and Nordland, composed mostly Danes, Norwegians and Swedes. Commanding the new division was Brigadefuhrer Felix Steiner, the former commander of Verfundstruppe SS Regiment Deutschland. After formation, the division was sent to Heuberg in Germany for training by April 1941. The SS Division Viking was deemed ready for combat. It was ordered east in June 1941 to take part with Army Group South's advance into the Ukraine during Operation Barbarossa. In June 1941, Finnish Volunteer Battalion of the Waffen SS was formed from the volunteers from the country. After training, this unit was attached to the SS Regiment Nordland in January 1942. About 430 Finns, who were veterans of the Winter War, served within the Waffen SS Division Viking since the beginning of Operation Barbarossa. In spring 1943, the Finnish battalion was withdrawn and replaced by Estonian Infantry Division Narwa. The division was not ready for combat until 29 June 1941, one week after the launch of Operation Barbarossa. During its first action near Tarnpol in Galicia, Ukraine, the division acquitted itself well. In August, SS Division Viking was ordered to establish a defensive perimeter around the bridgehead across the Dnieper River. Despite the determined attacks by the Red Army, the division held the line. Against stiffening resistance, the division continued its advance toward Rostov-on-Don. It took part in the heavy fighting for Rostov before being ordered back to the Meuse River line in November. During 1941, the Heer officers in charge of the deployment of the SS division were skeptical of the fighting abilities and so were hesitated to commit it in any major actions. As the division proved itself again and again in combat, it began to earn growing respect from the Heer commanders. After successfully holding the river line in the winter of 1941-1942, the SS division was ordered to retake Rostov on Don and advance to the Caucasus, securing the regions of vital oil fields. This attack was known as Operation Mouth and formed as a part of Armour Group South's offensive Case Blue, aimed at the capturing of Stalingrad and the Baku oil fields. Launched at the height of the summer, the offensive was unexpectedly successful. Within six weeks, Rostov and the entire Don region had been captured and the SS division was advancing deep into the Caucasus. By late September 1942, the SS division was in a position to launch an assault to capture the vital city of Grozny. Working with cooperative with Panzergruppe Traugotten Heras 13th Panzer Division, a plan was arranged to capture the city. As they reached the Terek River, the Soviet defensive solidified several obstacles built to be breached before the Gorichian Road, along with American supplies were transported, could be reached. Realizing the difficulty of this situation, Felix Steiner divided his division in four columns, each with separate objectives, but all aimed at breaching the Soviet defensives and opening a road to the Caspian Sea. The SS regiment Nordland was to attack along with the Korp River to Malgobek, the SS Panzer Battalion Viking with elements of the SS regiment Germania was to breach the main line of defense and establish a bridgehead, the SS regiment Westland was to capture the town of Sagomnish and the division engineer component along with the rest of Germania was to advance along the
The attack got underway on the 9th of this September 25 and 26, 1942. Nordland's assault soon barked down, as the soldiers realized that not only they were outnumbered by the Red Army, but later also well entrenched in prepared positions. Within 30 minutes, almost the half of the men were fallen. Despite of this, they still captured the hill. Its commander Fritz von Schultz was awarded the Knight's Cross. The division finally captured Malgobek on October the 6th. However, the objective of seizing the capital and opening a road to the Caspian Sea was not achieved. The closest point, the Grozny Hill 701, was captured by the Finnish Volunteer Battalion of Waffen SS Division Nordland. During this operation, the Viking division lost over 1500 men, several combat units were reduced to only the dozens of men, and were veterans later wrote. Casualties weren't counted anymore, just men left alive. The division also anticipated in the try of relief Stalingrad. This operation failed. In late November 1942, the division was redesignated the 5th SS Panzer Grenadier Division Viking. But now the division had gained the reputation of an elite formation, and in early 1943, it was ordered to fall back to the Ukraine south of Kharkov recently been abandoned by the second SS Panzer Corps and now the scene of first fighting for tourist capture. During mid-1943, the 5th SS Viking underwent a major transformation. Steiner was now a Gruppe Führer, was transformed to the 3rd Germanic SS Panzer Corps, currently forming in Croatia. His replacement was Herbert Otto Gille, who has provided himself as Steiner's equal. The remains of the veterans SS Regiment Nordland, along with his commander, Fritz von Schultz, were moved from the division and used as nucleus of a new 11th SS Volunteer Panzer Grenadier Division Nordland. Also, the Finnish Volunteer Battalions of the Waffen SS were disbanded as the agreed two years service of the Finnish Volunteers had ended. In an attempt to offset the loss of the Finns and the Nordland Regiment, the newly formed Estonian Volunteer Unit, Estonian Volunteer Panzer Grenadier Battalion Narva, was attached to the division. While the division was refitting, it was involved in minor skirmishes with partisans. The reorganization was completed by late June and the division was moved to Lisium, where it, along with the 23 Panzer Division was to form the reserve force of von Manstein's armed group during the approach of Operation Citadel. While the operation was in effect, several Soviet formations attacked towards Oriel and Kharkov. The 5th SS Viking Division was engaged against forces near Kharkov. With the Estonians acquitting themselves well, destroying around 100 Red Army tanks on over several days, when Citadel was cancelled, the division was still involved in halting the Soviet tanks. Further to the south of the Mios Front, a major Red Army offensive, Operation Rimunse, treated to break the German lines. The 5th SS Viking was joined the 3rd SS Totenkopf Panzer Division and the 2nd Panzer Grenadier Division in Das Reich and was sent to the Minshus Bogudov sector to halt the Soviet attacks. In subsequent fighting, the SS Division defeated two Soviet tank armies, totaling over 1000 tanks, destroying over 800 of them. At no time did the SS divisions have any more than 50 panzers in working order. Despite horrifying losses, the Soviets were able to take Kharkov on 23 of August and began advancing towards the Dnieper. In October, the division was again pulled back out of the line, this time to be restructured as a panzer division, the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking. Bolster the strength of the division, the Wallon Volunteer 5th SS Tombegada Wallonian was attached to the division. But later the 5th SS Tumigrande Wallonian was redrawn from. After a brief period of rest and refit, the 5th SS Viking Division was sent to assist the defense of Kovel, which was under treat from a strong Soviet force. Gil led his army men towards the town and began setting up a defensive perimeter, which was soon encircled by the Red Army. The 2nd Battalion, SS Panzer Regiment 5th, Viking, equipped with newly arrived Panzer tanks, along with the 3rd Battalion, SS Panzer Grenement Germania, well equipped and upstrength, arrived to the front from Germany and began to form a relief formation. The unit was under command of Obersturmführer Karl Niklos Leck, commanded of the 8th Company, 2nd Battalion, SS Panzer Regiment 5th, Viking, Nicolas Leck immediately launched an attack with five tanks, 
Soon after beginning the assault, he received a radio message from the besieged commander to halt his attack and withdraw. Lack orders his radio operator to ignore the call and continue with the attack. Risking covered material, Nikolaj Lack proceeded to fight way through the Red Army encirclement, destroying several tanks in the process. Yet Panther was the first vehicle to break through the encirclement. For the actions, he was awarded the Night Cross of the Iron Cross. After the relief force had been established a corridor to the trapped forces to withdraw began. And like the previous encirclement at Kosun, the Viking managed to escape with most of its equipment intact. In late August 1944, the division was ordered back to the Molin fortress on the Vitalusa river line near Warsaw. 